Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. You're watching the Motorcycle Rescuer, and I'm Charlie. A uh, busy day yesterday. Uh, as you saw actually, you, you should have a brief clip in the dark of me popping down to see David and his partner in, well, probably shouldn't tell you where they live, but yes, a bit of a drive. Um, where are we? Uh, this XJ550 is the one I picked up last night. It's, it's stunning, absolutely stunning guys. I have to admit, I, I was expecting to turn up to see this wreck. I, I honestly, I just, I mean really, I just hadn't even questioned David on it. I just, he said I've got an XJ550, and I heard XJ550, and it's, um, it's got a little bit of sentimental value to me in XJ550, so I said, great, I'll be on my way. Um, the reason, I'm into XJ550s is because my friend John, who you've seen on the channel a few times, if you go back to the Thunder Race um, panel swap channel or even the, the, the Boba compression test, John's the one in the background saying, do it properly, test that properly. Um, and yeah, I've known John a long, long time. And when I first met John, he had an XJ550. And he had the SECA version, S-E-C-A, I believe it was. So it is this engine. It, it's definitely the engine and exhaust, and even the wheels, I believe. John, correct me. Um, the clocks, I believe, are the same. Although I feel like John's had were one, two, three, four, but that could be in my head. Anyway, um, that bike, I left it in Camden one night. I, I was going for drinks with um, friends from work. And I came back the next morning because obviously I couldn't drive it home. Went back the next morning and uh, it had been set alight. So that bike, I can't remember what I did with that bike. But it was set alight and it was ruined. So um, David said to me recently, I've got an XJ550. And I went, snap, I'll take it. Uh, and I just expected to see a wreck, guys. And it is not. At the moment I paid David 600 quid for this and he was happy to take 600 quid for this. But actually, he's, he's way, way, way undersold this bike. So I will be trying to top David up when we get a good sale on this bike, which we will. At the moment, it is a non-runner. You know, we have to get that out there. But it wasn't a non-runner. David drove it himself a while back, and he drove it back to his garage. So something smallish has gone wrong. I think it's probably just gummed up the carbs. I think the carbs are probably just a bit gummed up. They need a bit of a clean and it will be good to go. However, David in his wisdom and his kindness actually, has supplied me everything to fully service the bike from brake pads, spark plugs, to oil. And that is, that's just unbelievable. I'm not used to people doing that guys. I'm used to people giving me as little as possible, which is fair enough. They wanna, they wanna make a few pennies on their bikes. But David sold this for 250 less than he paid and added a full service kit so uh yeah i mean i can't thank you enough for that david i don't like doing that guys i'm not here to rip you guys off although um i did explain to david that every piece of profit on this channel goes to charity like you know so that's good i'm well looking forward to this one guys i'm going to get onto this one in an hour or so but we need to get this uh this xj 600 out the way xj 500 1981 XJ 600 1994. Uh, I've got a new air filter that's down there that, that's bought and ready. I've got a slightly smaller number plate because this big wind um, wind beater just 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 slightly too big. And, and also we're going for you know a touch of a street fire look, so it's a bit like bleh. And then um, we know that this this clock does work. Aiden took this bike out last week, it was hilarious. I said to him, I'm not sure if that clock is giving off the right reading and when he come back he said I was doing like 20 mile an hour and it flicked to 50 <laughs> so I've got the air filter in this box here and I've got this new light which I've wanted to try for a while guys but I message these guys all the time 
to say because this is um, sold as a digital speedo. Yeah, it's, it's digital. But on the pictures, I always saw that. So every time I message them, is this digital or is it analog or is it somehow an analog fitting that turns it into digital? Never ever get an answer, so I bought one this time. And I, it's, it's stunning, guys. It's like 20 quid. It's beautiful. I just hope it does what it says it does, which is power it up. That should be straightforward enough. Green should be earth, red should be power. I'll double check. Chuck in the uh, wire here. And uh, we should have a powered screen that shows ideally miles per hour. And that actually works. So that'll be an interesting. Also, Robert is uh, looking into that as well. So that will help him out. Uh, slightly smaller number plate there. It's the 8x6, I believe. That's just one down. You always get away with them for MOT. And if the police stop you guys, you always get away with them. So keep, you know, that's good to go. And what else? Uh, and the reason I need to get this one up and running is because someone's coming to view it today with, you know, looking to buy it. So I'm going to chuck the servicing kit on this and get this done and dusted. So first thing, new uh, air filter. Make sure it's the right one. You know as well as I do how often you get sent the wrong one. Uh, nice and clean. Here's the old one. The old one I was kind of not sure how bad it was, but actually, I mean, it's, it's you can see it's discoloured. And then this one is, of course, sparkling, brand new and white. So that's going to help it breathe better, so that's important. Uh, I'll chuck that in, and then... What was the plan? I, I cleaned the spark plugs, they were fine. I... Do, 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 what did I need to do? Oh yes, the clock. Obviously, I need to get back up here. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get back up here, chuck the clocking and see the actual wiring, see how that thing works and uh, we'll be good to go. Not sure how much I'm gonna film, guys, don't. Um, I'll try and film the clock stuff so that you you have an idea, because I think they're great. If that does what it appears to do, if it does what it appears to do, I think that's great. And then in a couple of hours, we should have a good serviced running bike with a slightly smaller exhaust and this quite cool kind of Street Fighter look ready for sale. So uh, I'll be piecing this together. Bobber, guys, Bobber. Um, the carb diaphragm was in terrible state. The rubber was gone, it had all them holes in it. I got one off Jake that I thought would fit and it didn't. Uh, now, I've, I've messaged someone else on eBay and they've measured loads for me and they're sending me one that they think should fit. But it's a right pain in the arse getting a diaphragm for this. Um, even if you could buy the original, it's 170 quid. It's ridiculous for what it is. So uh, at the moment, the bobber's at a bit of a standstill. I've got a diaphragm coming. It might even turn up today. But um, I can't do anything with it. The black coating on the engine looks great. I'll get the underneath bit done after. It's just, it's a stunning, beautiful bike, that one. But it had that intermittent, it wasn't an intermittent fault, guys. It was, the diaphragm have holes in it. It's meant to rise up and down nice and gently. And it just can't when it's got holes in it and air's leaking out and stuff like that. It will never be as efficient as it should be. So, let's get going. Let me chuck this air filter in. Let me chuck the tank back on. And, no, I'll leave the tank off because I'm going to be running some wiring, aren't I? Because I need to work out where I'm going to power my clock from. It needs to be something that's on all the time, but only on all the time when the key is on. So, for example, you can't run your clock wires to the battery because the clock will always be illuminated. So I need to find a wire that's only powered when the key is on. Make sense? Yeah, it's easier said than done uh, because you don't want it to go to a light wire. Um, maybe one of the wires that goes to the horn, maybe? Am I right in thinking that? And then you bridge them and then that makes horn sound. I don't know, I'm going to look into that. I've got my multimeter, that will help me out. So guys, new air filters in, quick and easy. Um, always test your products first. Green is always earth. Or black is earth. On this, on this, black is positive. And green is earth. That's crazy. Red is speed, so that will be um, RPMs. And blue is oil. Um, so check the wiring, that's really important. I would have easily wired up black or green actually to, because it's Chinese. Chinese green to minus 
red to plus that's normal but actually it's green and black powers this thing so I've snipped the other two because we don't need RPMs I'm not fussed about RPMs and the oil sensor is not, is not an issue either because we have a dipstick and we have oil down there so I now need to find a way off earthing is easy oh look see I'm saying earthing is easy that is not earth that's earth earthing is easy I need to find a power wire up at the top of the bike that comes on when you turn the key um, is the side light always on? No, I don't think it is. No. Um, I'll use the multimeter. I'll get down here. There'll definitely be wires here behind there. Um, but you need one that's not linked to a switch. So you need one that is, that comes straight off the uh, the key. So you need the nearest positive ideally that comes off the key that is only powered when the key is on. So it could be one of these down here, for example, it could be one of the reds. Um, because anything behind there, ultimately, um, may be one of the indicator wires. Although, again, that goes through a switch at some point. Guys, with this stuff, finding the power wire that, um, that is only powered with the key is basically getting your multimeter, earthing the black, and checking the wire when the key's on and checking it when the key's off. That will just tell you exactly what's happening. Then you'll know any time you turn the key on that your speedo will flash up and be ready to go. So I'll have a little play and uh, I'll let you guys know exactly what I'm doing. Okay guys, so this wire comes directly from the ignition. So I'm going to put a little slice in here. Oh, sorry, bad filming. A little slice in here. I'll check the power when the ignition's off using my multimeter. I'll check the power when the ignition's on. If that's powered when the ignition's on, I just need to run my new wire down to here. And that's all good to go. Tuck it all in, tape it all up, and that will be great. Uh, if you haven't got a multimeter, guys, you can use an old indicator or an old side light. Something with two wires on it. One's an earth and one's a power. Put the power on here and put the earth to the frame or the somewhere, and that will give you the same thing that this is reading out, yeah. So, uh, that's something to be aware of. If your multimeter breaks, you haven't got one, go get an old indicator, which some of us have sitting in our garages, and you put the power on there, put the earth somewhere around, and if it's powered, it will power up your light bulb. So, that's good to know. So, I'm going to check this with my multimeter, see if it's powered with the ignition on. If so, that's where my new ignition ignition my new speedo powers to and then hopefully we put the uh, simple speedo cable in and it should just read out like normal fingers crossed so guys that wire I skimmed is always positive even with the key off the keys off um, it's powered I'm going to show you that so the key is off let me show you something Using the steps I showed you before, key is off, power, and some sort of earth, find a nice earth. There you go. So even with the key off, that wire is powered, so that's no good to you, because that means your speedo will always be on, that's no good. So keep going, find a different wire that's only powered when the ignition is on. Tape that wire up fully using insulation tape or shrink wrap, guys. So, I checked the horn, one of the horn wires. I did exactly the same process. Key off, check both wires using the multimeter and the fork leg. And then key on and check both wires. And this one was powered when the key was on. I also pressed the horn while this was on to make sure the horn being pressed doesn't interfere with the clock. That, that's quite important. So now I have a wire here that will be powered only when the key is on. So that's perfect. I've got my power wire for my clock. So the next step, I'm going to try and give myself a little bit more space up here by moving this forward. And then run this up, power it to the clock, run in the line. And that technically should be enough to do... Um, for us to test the bike, actually. To put the tank back on, test the bike and make sure it's reading anything other than that might be it might read in it might read in 
kph but i know that this is mph so you might have to adapt it there is one button on here no idea what it does so we'll work all that out in a bit but that's fine we've got a power wire there when the ignition's on let's throw on this anyway it's a beautiful beautiful design that guys i think it was 18 quid look at it stunning if it converts wire to digital this is going to be my new best friend um, i'll try and convince jake to get a bunch in so that i've got easy access to them because why not uh yep let me do that switch over see how that all goes uh, i'll take the screen off for now and i might leave the screen i'm not sure guys i'm really not sure the screen is kind of okay it kind of works it kind of does its thing but i might lose it i might lose it uh, one of you guys asked me for the screen if i can find the i took the uh, side plates off it and i um i probably chucked them knowing me but uh yeah anyway right let me get this clock on wired up get the tank back on see how this thing fires up if it fires up easier than it was before then we know that our small service has done a great job so guys at this stage we've got the beautiful clock on um, i've tilted it a bit to the left so that we've got a bit more space for your fingers when turning the key there's plenty room now uh, there's your power wire tape that up tuck it all in i need to run the earth wire to somewhere now there's plenty of earths up here guys find one run it and you're all good to go uh, and then we will see if this bike um, if the service has done it any good by the way it starts up uh, if I filmed it last time I'm sure I would have it takes a little while to start up except when it starts it runs beautifully so uh, we'll, we'll just have a little look at that and we'll make sure it starts first time and it runs and rides as it should and then if that's the case somebody's coming to look at this bike later and they should buy it. Um, we've agreed 750, which is a great price for this bike. I think this bike will take you to Scotland and back as many times as you want, because it's just one of them bikes that just does what it's meant to do, and will probably continue to do it forever, a bit like that. So let me chuck on the power wire. I'll show you what the screen looks like. We'll test that it actually engages and does something and gives us a speed. We'll make sure the speed reading is miles per hour. If it's KM, we'll adjust it somehow. I'm dead set that it does do miles per hour. And we'll get that all kind of tweaked and powered up. Uh, then it will be uh, bolting down the fuel tank. Just getting it kind of a bit of, bit of a touch of a clean. Maybe a bit of a spray and shine. And then push that aside that's ready to go for the person coming to see it later. I did want to pop off this cap. I might still do give that one coat of matte black chuck it back on just to give the bike a bit of a uh, you know bit of love that it deserves also i was meant to clean this up wasn't i i'm probably gonna um see if i can get that a bit cleaner wd-40 should be fine if i've got any left uh yeah just a touch neater guys just to keep the bike as it should be oh yes and the slightly smaller number plate so we're not parachuting behind the bike with the biggest number plate in the world. Okay, let's see where we are in regards to having a speedo and in regards to the bike firing up. Uh, let's get choke fully out and fuel is on, yes. Uh, spark plugs I did last week, I cleaned the terminals. The wiring I'll need to up a touch after. So, side stands is up, choke is on, like I said. Uh, speedo first. Good, we've got one and uh, firing up. Battery's a bit low on this, guys. I'm gonna have to check it, but um, let me get it warmed up. I'll put some revs into it. I'm holding the camera at the moment. Full choke, clutching. I need to take it for a spin, and we need to see if that's breathing. Um, it looks like I don't know if that's KM. 
think we're running low on fuel so that's probably a good little test run I'll take it down put some fuel in it and bring it back yes let's do that uh, no idea what we're reading in there guys we should be reading in miles per hour I don't even know how I'm gonna tell I'm gonna read the advert again in case it gives me some sort of idea as to what's going on there and um, and then I'll take it for this, I'll throw some fuel in it, take it for this very quick test run and see what I think. Bike rides beautifully guys. Um, it's definitely reading kilometres per hour um, and it does say KM on there. So I'm going to look at the advert. I mean it has a lack of information anyway so I'm not expecting miracles. But And then I'm going to have to look on YouTube and just see if there's a way of converting it to miles per hour. Um, it's only got one button on the back and so far clicking it once changed the trip reading and holding it down changed the colour. So uh, I need to get it kind of right. The only other thing it could be is that the actual wire, the new wire I'm using has a different circumference which is changing the reading but um, it's unlikely that is. It's, it, it is unlikely. So let's see what we can do i'll have a little look online lovely riding bike guys absolutely pulls well looks great absolutely does what it needs to do just a tiny bit of tweaking okay guys so there is an extremely long winded system to switch it to miles per hour so i mean i'll let you guys read that Um, yeah, so good luck with that. I think it says, if you hold the button down before you switch on, it should bring up a P001 setting. Um, I'm not going to be able to do that with one hand. Let me see if we get this P. Ah, right, P00000, okay. So, to switch to uh, miles per hour, press and hold the button while do not release and open the electric switch. Makes sense. Screen P0000 at this point. Yes, that's what we've got. Now, at this time, zero on the one place flashes, long press to jump to the tens. So long press to jump to the next one up. There you go. And then, and then short press the tens place display one so we want this one to say one. There you go, and then long press to jump to the next one. Oh my God, this is awkward. Jump to the hundreds digits. Short press six times. We want to be that. That wants to be on six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and long press to the thousands. There we are. Okay, so we're on the thousands. So, wait, uh, what do we want? Press six times, we want that at six. So six, six, one, zero to change this to mile well, per hour, or I don't know actually. Five, six, zero, zero, four, six, six should display. Short press, short press to skip, short press to skip. 1001, what the hell is this? At this time, that's blah blah blah. If you want to switch to miles per hour, press and hold the button for one digit flashing, long press to switch to 1002. Wait, short press or long press? Oh god. Short press to skip. If you want to switch to miles per hour, press and hold the button for one digit flashing 
long press to switch to 1002 so long press short long press short press change that to 2 it has now been set to miles per hour short press to jump to the next item if I short press that now guys you know what happens right it it um will go to three won't it or will it no maybe there's only a two let's see short press no it went back to one. Oh god right long press obviously let's try that okay long press has kind of set that in place then short press to jump to the next item what the hell is that two 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 oh my god set rpm cylinder no, I, don't, I ain't even using any RPMs now. How do I just get past all this? Oh, come on. I'm just pressing and holding it lots now, guys, to see. Oh, no. Surely if I switch it off now, it will store it, you reckon? When we fire back up, this should say MPH. And it does. Okay, let me take this for a quick spin and make sure that it kind of does read. Um, it kind of does read correctly. And then if it does, we're good to go. Uh, on the advert, on my advert, it states clearly that it's only KPH. Um, the one that I bought, so purchases. You go onto here, and then it states within here that it's only KPH, so it's a bit misleading. So if you check down here, look, speedo unit, kilometers per hour. Um, so they're selling themselves short there a bit. Um, let me take this out and see if it appears to read as it should. I think it will. And then this bike's great and ready to go. I'll chuck a bit of uh, polish on it. And this guy's coming around 4 o'clock today. So, guys, I'm extremely pleased about that. I'm, I'm so pleased about that. That's all kind of good and done and dusted there. And it read. It read well. It looked like it was spot on. Um, it's nice that I like it. I like the fact that you can change the colour as well uh, And it just does its job so happy with that. I'll chuck on that slightly smaller number plate I think and I'm just gonna mess with the wiring a little bit uh, And I need to that's it right I ran the The um, earth down here but it's messing with the light on the right indicator watch. Right, so when I go right indicator watch this. Ah, that's no good. On, off, on, off, on, off. I had a feeling that would happen. Um, I just need to run the earth back to the battery. That's the easiest way to deal with this part. Uh, I, I realised there was a screw missing from here. I'll chuck one in just because it looks silly. Uh, someone's done that before. No issue there. I'll have one. And apart from that, that's it. Slightly smaller plate, like I said. Things just a bit, a bit massive. All right, last couple of bits, and then we're good to go. And then we can move on to the big daddy. I'd love to hear that bike today. I'd love so much to hear that bike today. But we, um, I'm asking a lot for the light. We we lose the light around 4:35 at the moment. So, and it's what I don't know what it is. 12 now, one. We'll see. Look what happens when you change a plate, guys. First of all, look at the size difference. The letters are full size, they're actually oversized, these are full size on a one size down plate, even if the police measure it, the actual letters are the right size. Um, obviously it's now got my name on it, not that I rescued this bike. Um, and it just sits better, this sat like this, well you've seen that a couple of times, and then this one sits like this, it's just smaller and neater on it. Looks a bit more street fighty. So I'm going to do that switch over because that's well worth doing. 
Um, the little uh, reflector down there is needed for the next MOT. I'm surprised this bike doesn't have one. Normally you'd have one somewhere, or somewhere here would be classed as the reflector. Uh, crazy day and age, isn't it, that your motorbike needs a reflector when you've got all your lights, but whatever. Uh, I'll glue that on or something after, but he won't need, he or she actually, it's he coming today, so I said he, but they won't need a the original number plate because that one will pass MOT with the reflector on. Uh, unless that tester is extremely, extremely strict. But I've never had it fail. I've always gone one size down on plates. Let me chuck that on and I can push this bike aside. This bike's done. Oh, I did change the... I ran the earth all the way to the earth on the battery. So now, when we go to the indicators, it does not disappear. Which is like normal. Lovely. Uh, it's tempting when you do something like that to think, Oh, I can't be asked. I'll leave it. But, um... My god, that'd be annoying when you're turning right, wouldn't it? Maybe a touch unsafe as well. Okay, guys. I consider that the final product of this bike now. Um, did that little bit of cleaning down there. It was only loose rust. Nothing major. I think the bike looks great. Little XJ600 diversion. Slightly smaller plate, just neatens up the rear end. It's not parachuting anymore. Chrome's fairly shiny. Runs right and does everything we ask of it. It's always got um, a touch of that clutch, right? I'll listen. But these bikes are known for it. Um, nothing at all to worry about, no concerns, that it doesn't mean anything's wearing down quickly. It is literally a little bearing in there that kind of, um, kind of egg shapes off. But, um, it's not dangerous, it's not unsafe and won't ruin anything within the engine. So there is a fix for that, but it's a complex fix and unnecessary, really. I don't mind a little rattle in an engine when I know the engine's strong and it pulls throughout the rev range. Uh, I'm going to give it a quick wipe down and then push it aside and that's it. If I had more time and I was going for a higher end bike guys, I'd paint them wheels black, just hammer right, I'd take them off, deflate the tyres, put some paper in and get some black on them. But uh, at this stage for the price, someone's coming today, they're offering me 750 They're getting a lot of bike for 750 They're getting a hell of a lot of bike for 750 So um, yeah, so no concerns at all. Quick wipe tiny bit of um, polish and then that one's done ready good to go and I'm glad I think it looks great I like the little chrome chrome it's not chrome is it it's like a what's it rose metal or brushed copper look but I like it and you can change the backlight color let me pop this off put a tiny bit of a tiny bit of black on it just to clean it up then we'll leave this bike alone which means we can move on to that New video.